Oh, yeah. Okay. You look at Daddy? All right, show us your deciduous trees. These are my deciduous trees. Over here. Okay. See all the yellow leaves? Okay, these are... This are, is a deciduous tree. I don't know if we have any coniferous trees around here. All right. And a, a remind me again what a coniferous tree does. A coniferous tree has needles. They stay green all winter. Like an evergreen. What does a coniferous tree do, Amelia? Stay green, Daddy. Uh, this is, uh, again, our workshop. I have been working on a few projects. I am trying right now to make a puppet cage. How would you say it? Puppet. Mm, showcase, maybe? Not you know, showcase. Like a box like you could put puppets in for children so that's what i am currently in the process of doing it's monday and uh, we try to take it easy on mondays and spend some family time here at the farm <laughs> right so what's been going on huh hmm. what about the homeschooling hmm. homeschooling it's going good yeah are you learning yeah. anything i am i'm relearning all the things i forgot from you know however many years ago uh -huh. long long time uh -huh. ago Milosh and Nikolai both enjoy it. Marco sits in with us. Uh -huh. Little Miss Amelia toddles around. Uh -huh. And um, what do you call a tree that eats meat? <laughs> uh, a tree that eats meat. A tree I that guess eats it'd be a meat. carnivore. A carn carnivorous. A carnivorous. Tree. Yeah, the boys learned about deciduous and coniferous trees. Ah, coniferous so my trees. husband's teasing me because I told the boys look for some deciduous trees today while we were here. Yes. Did they find any deciduous trees today? We do. We have some deciduous trees here on our property. Okay. What about the carnivorous trees? Coniferous? I'm not sure if we have it. I don't think we have any coniferous on our property. So you, want to, you want to explain the difference between a carnivorous and I a... think any homeschool mom or, I don't know, maybe and most people watching maybe know the difference. A deciduous tree, okay. the leaves change colors. Okay. I just want to say that uh, that my my homeschool teacher... Uh, it's probably watching this, and I don't remember ever <laughs> learning about coniferous trees. Well, it was a long time ago, so maybe, maybe you just need a refresher. Okay, so the deciduous trees, they quit making food in the winter, and so their trunk stores all the food and actually takes the chlorophyll from the leaves. So the leaves change yellow, red, orange, brown, and fall off. The coniferous kind have more like needles, and they stay green all winter. Uh-huh. Simple. So you've been doing homeschool? We've been doing homeschool. Oh, that's fun. It is fun. We've got some desks I was able to make for the boys. We have for homeschool some desks. Desk. We usually are on a table, though. But we use the desk. Milos uses his desk for writing. Yes. So it's time to learn. It's time. And we have a, uh, a Russian friend who she is trying to improve her English. So sometimes she comes over, and while we're homeschooling, she gets to work on her English and, and listen in and Mm -hmm. And we'll ask questions. So we're going to be teaching her all the different sounds that the letter A can make. Because it makes many. Many. She's a little overwhelmed, I think. And here, A is always A. Yeah, in every letter, it's a phonetic language, so every letter only makes one sound. Right. Which is a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. What's Amelia been learning? Amelia, she's been learning a little bit how to eat. She's been learning how to be a human vacuum. She she searches for all of our sins that are on the floor, and then she eats them all, don't you? You want to see what Amelia does with one of these puff balls? What are you going to do with it? What have we been doing for I think activities? Right after our last letter, we went to the zoo, and that was fun. We used the train, the fast train. You used the train. I used the train with I, some other families. I drove. And but then you also so we met up, then you drove and you transported three van loads of People. friends and church friends and yeah. From the train station to the zoo, we had to pick up three loads. Three nine-passenger van loads, yeah. Went to the zoo, had a good time. We did. Had a picnic at the zoo. We did. We had um, our, our large Russian family. We had some uh, church friends from Brazil and Argentina and Mexico. 
We have an international ministry. We do have an international ministry. God has given us, God loves all people. So we just never knew that an international church is what God had in store here. Oh, fun, fun update news is that yesterday uh, there was a man who's been coming to church with us for a few weeks. And hey. after church, uh, um, it was brought to my attention that he was interested uh, to to ask the Lord to save him. And so we went to talk to him and we stepped in my office and we explained to him what salvation was and what it's not. And uh, he said he's never done that. He's never asked the Lord. He's believed in God. And I showed him to James where the devils believe and tremble. Mm -hmm. But the only difference between us and the devils is, uh, of course, repentance and acceptance of what Jesus Christ offers. Mm -hmm. And so he said, I've never, I've never done that. And I said, would you like to do that now? And so he said, yes. And so uh, I didn't give him a prayer. We just I said, simply, this is, I, I said, this is what you do. You just ask him and tell him you're a sinner and you want to be saved and to go to heaven when you die. And so in, uh, in his own heart language of Brazilian, mm -hmm. uh, he's coming to church with us from Brazil, and he just uh, bowed his head there in my office. And uh, first person over here that we've met to actually in person uh, receive the Lord as his personal Savior. So that was pretty wild. That was wonderful. Yeah. So, and he was excited. Mm -hmm. And I said, do you mind if I tell everybody? No, no, yes, please tell people, yes. And so we went and told him, and uh, so we'll be doing some follow-up studies with him, too. So yeah. that's encouraging. You're awful trusting. I asked you, is it going to hold me? I did make that, but I'm not You make I'm good not work. sure if that's going to hold you or if not. If I fall, then we know that you need to practice more. Well, that's, uh, that's one way of looking at it. And this week we have a new woman that will be coming to our home three days a week for a little while. We're going to try something out. She's going to come and Lord willing with the children and I being forced to use it, we will maybe learn a little faster in the home. She's going to help a little bit with the children and, and just um, it's kind of going to be like doing language school at home for all of us because um, just the season we're in, I'm homeschooling and I need help translating certain things you know she's going to be coming alongside me while i'm cleaning and cooking and caring for the children and just speaking to me and teaching me cultural things and language so we're looking forward to that and i'm praying that that will speed up our language learning and be a blessing all around what did we do for friend day we got to go to the park and we got to play some music for my guitar mm -hmm. and uh, we had uh we had some church friends come with us Mm -hmm. Then we had two friends come from uh, my language class. Mm -hmm. And so in one way, language class is a blessing that uh, I get to learn the language. And then two, it's a blessing because it's been a good way to actually interact with people around here. Mm -hmm. Even though many are not natives, uh, there's a guy from Sudan uh, who I've been able to uh, talk with. And he actually came with another Russian guy and they came to spend some time with us. So. That was good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Future outreaches. What are we going to do? What are we going to do in the future? What's the plan? What are we going to do? So we do have an outreach planned in the north. Uh, there's a lot of families here that struggle with relationships, that struggle with uh, home, Just marriage, marriage, children. With children. Uh, this winter, maybe February-ish. We're going to have an outreach uh, campaign where we have a, maybe a special speaker come in and talk about the the way the family operates, the way it was designed to operate, and how uh, I think there'll be a lot of people interested in seeing how they can help the kids. Right now, the population here is really on a decline because nobody's really having a lot of kids or any any kids really, and they look at the ones who do have kids, and it's a complete nightmare. And so, of okay. course, no one wants to have kids because it's a disaster. And so, but then to show people that, you know what, you can have kids, you can have a family, and it can be a blessing. Enjoy them. It can be a, it can be a blessing, but you're not going to be able to do that the world's way. The only way you're going to be able to have a peaceful and fun and, and uh, blessed family is to do it the way it was originally designed. Mm -hmm. If you have a family and you're operating it the wrong way, you're going to experience life problems. And so that's the, kind of the, the uh, program we're going to try to put out this, this winter. Advertise. Advertise, yeah. Okay, um, so that's it for now. And uh, we also want to, as we get ready to close out this this uh, month's, oh, 
update. My wife told me that this is called a puppet theater. <laughs> so that's what I'm making is a puppet theater. Sometimes I make things I don't know what they are. So, and as we get ready to head out, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for all your help. And we'd like to give an extra special shout out to Central Baptist Church in Corning, New York, and the youth group Sunday school classes that helped us get this door installed in our shop to keep things nice and safe. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. You guys, your blessing. Okay, this is how we're going to go out. Ciao. Say until next time. Say, venimos, say. Venimos, say. Is it fun? Oh, Is that fun? Cute. She's listening to sheep. It's okay. Explain that to me again. So, I said I wish you cut it on camera, but Milos chopped these parts of this tree off with his shovel. He whacked this thing long enough. That's impressive. And over here, he made bonfire sticks, he said. So That's that impressive. we could have a bonfire. And here are his... I mean, he's five years old. That's impressive. I was impressed. So I took my shovel like this. That's what you did. Well, that was those. But my idea was, was those. See over here? I chopped them here, there, here. Wow. Say love you. Hello, welcome to another edition of Miller Family Journal. I just try to hold still so you can use a hand on my arm. It's tickling me. No? No.